Austin is retreating to the floor. Just that quick, Cecil Scott, Brandon Day almost captured the International Heavyweight Championship, and he has got the champ in a defensive position. How rare is it that we see any member of the Riot, much less one of the Dawson brothers, outside the ring taking cover, and Brandon Day is following him out. Well, Brandon, Brandon Day came in, and the Dawson's neither one of them are used to someone taking the attack to him like that. I think a lot of the Dawson's game is intimidation, and when they're in there, oh, gorgeous knee strike. When they're in there with someone who's not afraid of a cover, it's a whole different game. I believe that the champ is cover again. I believe that the champ is out of his element here. He's never faced someone like a Brandon Day, at least not in a long time. And Brandon Day, no one's going to intimidate this guy. Mm. Oh, hard elbow in the corner. This has been 100% Brandon Day. Two, and again. If Brandon Day catches him on one of these quick near falls, it's going to be all over. And his guy, St. Dawson, gasping right now. Oh, right to the gut, St. Dawson. Dawson talked a lot of trash on his way to the ring. Brandon Day with a cross body and again just firing away at Dawson. The challenger has come in here tonight with maybe the best game plan we've ever seen anyone try against a champion. Absolutely, but it's one of those things where when you come with a flurry like this, you got to get the job done because if St. Dawson weathers this storm, I, I think Brandon Day is going to be at a disadvantage. I think you're right. It's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you, you see in a, in a fight, in a boxing match, you know, the first minute of the round, the guy just tees off on the dude. And then if he survives, oh, sky high power bomb! Dawson almost caught him. Boy, these two. Not the matchup that I expected. Zane Dawson. It's kind of the reverse of what you normally see out of a, a Dawson match. Right, he likes to start slow. And it's usually him that's the aggressor at the beginning. See, Dawson, he has turned this right back around, and it looks like exactly what I predicted has come true. Brandon Day may have punched himself out in that early flurry. Dang, shots to the chest. No, Brandon Day is still up. Yeah, he's still, still, still on. The tank here. Oh, oh, did you see the ring move? I know we, we kind of make that reference a lot, but that ring legitimately just swayed off of that whip. Y'all on the board section over here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Don't you say nothing over here. Zane Dawson, making and, friends as always. Antagonizing this crowd. And Brandon Day is hurting for the first time in this matchup thus far. A, a, a brilliant quick flurry by the challenger. Uh oh, right in the face. But now the hard hitting PWI champion, the man that has controlled that championship for the better part of two years other than just a couple of months where Shane Helms won it back. Other than that, Zane Dawson, the two-time champion, has been in control of this championship over a year and a half. And we were there both nights where he just decimated Shane Helms. Mm. Dang, fighting back here. Slugging away, oh boy. Ooh. Huge boot to the face. Oh, yes. Ooh. When you're in there with Dawson, that's the thing, is any little move, any strike, any kick, any punch, anything that you know that you see a hundred times on a regular wrestling card, when they come from somebody that hits as hard as Zane Dawson, when they come with somebody with the power of Zane Dawson, uh, it can end the matchup. Yeah, absolutely. It could be something mundane, like, uh, like we just saw, a boot to the face. I mean, just think about it like this. You see clotheslines in every match. You don't see a Zane Dawson clothesline in every match. No, there is only one most dangerous lariat in wrestling, and it is Zane Dawson's. And Brandon Day still got that fight in him. Hard elbow to the ribs, almost to the gut. 
the day. Hits the ropes. Whoa, did not get it. Avoided it twice. Oh, he caught him. Oh, into the canvas hard. Two. And a slight variation on the traditional side slam. It's like he positioned him in front to get more momentum. And he's, Sam Dawson never stops antagonizing these fans. Mm -hmm. I've noticed Brandon Day, he hasn't really taken a shot to the head, but he's been holding the head. A lot of times when that adrenaline gets going and you kind of come down, it kind of rushes to the back of your head. Mm -hmm. You get a little, uh, little vertigo. And I, he might be dealing with that right now. Oh, he bang, bite the hand of Zane Dawson. Any means necessary. I would not bite any member of the riot. Mm -hmm. mm. Brandon Day is teeing off on Dawson. Whoa! What a heavyweight slugfest we are seeing here on CWF Worldwide. Our governing body, Pro Wrestling International, the richest prize, the Pro Wrestling International Heavyweight Championship, hangs in the balance. Brandon Day just hit the post hard. He took that left shoulder right in the post. Two. That could damage a collarbone. He could. He could. Pull a muscle in the, tra in the trapezius. All sort of thing can happen there hitting that post. Zane Dawson getting on to the official. It's not his fault. Well, a lot of things are Red John's fault. Well, that's a fair point. Zane, he's done a good job of slowing this thing back down, though, if nothing else. He's got it by the ear. Oh, oh my God. Oh, this is just a nasty fight. This is a heavyweight slugfest right here on CWF Worldwide. Oh, went too high on that. No, he's not going to let him have it. Brandon Day is not going to let him have the suplex, and he did not. Look at that agility. Ross held him up there. Good thing, too. Oh, he shoves Dawson the whole way through. Oh, God. Ooh. And Brandon Day thinking on his feet there. He knew he had to send Dawson under the buckle, but he didn't have time to make a follow-up because they collided. Oh. And it looked like Dawson hit with such force, at least from my angle. It looks like he caught the post a little bit before they cracked heads. Oh. Count up to four. Count is at five. I would not be at all shocked if we got a double count out here. Mm, I would not at all. I mean, these two have been laying into each other. They both got huge heads, too. Oh, right. Look at that. Two bulls, two rams. Yeah, it's like they locked horns. <laughs> So this is a this is a grown man fight, Brad. This is the kind of professional wrestling that I love. This thing would make Watts proud. Oh, he slapped him in the chest. I wasn't even a chop. I was just beefy contact. Kind of like. Wait a minute. Dawson hits the canvas. Brandon Day charges. Sliding D Lariat into the pinfall. Two. So damn close. And I know how much Brandon Day is prepared for this match. It's all he's talked about, all he's thought about. It's the one of the biggest matches of his career. Brandon Day has been a champion in regional organizations all over. He has never been an international heavyweight champion. Belly to belly, falls into the canvas. Two and a half is all. He reached over and tried to trap that arm too. A great series of moves there. Brandon Day. He likes the rolling elbow. Yes, he does. And there has been a lot of talk in locker rooms and on the internet about whose rolling elbow is more dangerous, that of Brandon Day or that of the Mid-Atlantic heavyweight champion Marcellus King. That conversation will have to wait for another day. But if Brandon Day was to leave here, the international heavyweight champion, you've got to think at some point he and the Mid-Atlantic heavyweight champion would cross paths. Oh, absolutely. And that's one of those things I don't feel like field testing for you. Mm -mm. Oh, he didn't get it. Great defensive move. Just spiked the man. Two, two. It's almost the old boss man slam. And that was a, just a huge act of self-preservation. Did a great job of avoiding that elbow. Yes, it was. And Dawson may be calling for the most dangerous lariat in wrestling. And Brandon Day is in a great position if you're Zane Dawson to just go ahead and take your time and find the right angle here. That's exactly what he's doing. No, sir. He's got a... Ah! Oh, that 
Scottish German. Right on the back of his head. And Dawson wisely rolls to the floor. He cannot lose the title on the floor. Oh dear, incoming. Oh God, into the crowd. Dangerous. So dangerous into the crowd. With reckless abandon, champion and challenger flew into the second row. And that's a near 270 pound suicide dive. Three. Everyone has scattered on the floor of the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium as these two big, rough, tough, stomping brawlers came flying. And Brandon Day may try to take flight again here. And he does. Second time he flung his entire body weight onto Dawson. So dangerous. But Brandon Day will do anything in his arsenal to leave here the Pro Wrestling International Heavyweight Champion. That means opportunities domestically and abroad. That means you get called for Omega. You get called for international tours. You get called for media appearances. So much opportunity comes with holding that championship. Championship belt, but did Brandon Day take too much out of himself on those dives? Well, you got to cover those. One, two, two. two. Brandon Day is not moving as swiftly as he did before those two huge dives. And it, I don't know if maybe he fell hard on the. Uh, well, obviously he fell hard, but I don't know if he caught an elbow or his head on the ground. He's moving very gingerly. I don't know how many dives you did in your pro career, but you can also crack your hip, your knees, just so many things when you're flinging your body on concrete. Concrete at five, at five, no. Dawson's out. Oh no! Boy, Brandon Day is hitting him with everything. He's got a oh, lariat. Caught the lariat out of nowhere. That's it. Two. Zane Dawson cannot believe it. The look on his face tells the story. He did not get the running start, though. It was very much a desperation lariat, but listen to this crowd come alive for the challenger. Brandon Day has the people. Now, if you're Zane Dawson, no one's ever kicked out of that lariat. Zane Dawson is looking for weapons on the outside. A disqualification will allow Dawson to stay to leave the venue with the title here. He just took one away from one of the ringside fans. He knows exactly what he's doing. Red Jones has got to get that chair out of the ring. Oh, no, 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 he's got another one. This qualification will, <laughs> no, no, heads up. Oh, oh, he ate it. He ate the chair, Red Jones did not see it. Everyone is down. Brandon Day's got to make that cover. But did he hurt his own elbow? He elbowed that chair into the face of Zane Dawson. The story of this fight has been desperation. And look at the challenger slouching toward Bethlehem. He is trying to make it to the promised land. Two. Oh. He almost had him. And now we're going to find out if that risk is worth the reward because look at how close to the body he's holding that elbow and that arm. And that is undoubtedly one of his biggest offensive maneuvers. As, oh, come on. Nasty, gnarly headbutts from the challenger. Ow! Right in the bridge of the nose. Oh, I'd be so sad if anybody ever hit me that hard. My daddy didn't hit me that hard. Oh, I'd be so sad. Oh. Brandon Day is scaling the ropes. And this is real dangerous when you've got two super heavyweights. Yeah, I don't know if the ring's gonna support this, but that arm, he can't pull him over. I don't think he can, yeah, I think you're right. I don't think he can, I don't think he can follow through. Oh! Using that top rope to his advantage. Oh, oh God. Good Lord, and he, he went all the way to the floor. As if crotching that rope wasn't bad enough. And Brandon Day may not re-enter this fight. No, that hard shot, that crotch on the rope, and then that lariat to knock it to the floor. I mean, the fans are going to try to get him up. They're trying to wheel him up. Yes, they are. I see, I see him stirring. The count is at eight. CWF uses the 10 count, and Brandon Day has beat it. And the crowd is telling Dawson he cannot beat the challenger. <laughs> they may be on to something here. 15 minutes has expired. 15 minutes remain. I've been on shirts for two years.
Dawson is telling the challenger to stay down. This is a man's, 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 man's world. And Zane Dawson is the kingpin in it right. as the international heavyweight champion. But who is he trying to convince right now? Mm. He seems, I see doubt in Zane Dawson. But for what it's worth, Brandon Day is completely out right now. Yes, he is. Maybe he used his last gasp just getting back in the ring. Brandon Day out on his feet. Zane Dawson is measuring the challenger. No! He's got him up. Five! Five! Cover, this is it! Two! Oh! Everyone in the building was on the edge of their seat and thought that was going to be all. Everyone in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium thought Brandon Day was about to take a huge, huge, monumental step in his career. Good Lord, what a war we are seeing. Man, what an incredible fight. <clears throat> and I think they just may wail on each other until one of them just keels over. Brandon Day is unleashing clothesline after clothesline after clothesline in the corner. And now a series of them. Red Jones has got to get out of the corner, but I don't think he can separate these two big men. Oh, oh it stopped him in his tracks. Good Lord. And Dawson retains. What a freaking war. Brandon Day unleashed clotheslines in the corner. St. Dawson unleashed hell with that lariat. And he is still the champion. Five seconds. Your winner by pinfall and still PWI International.